All right, so this is going to be a general overview of how to use the Warframe Extractor. I figured it'd just be easier to show all the features because uh, it's way easier than writing a tutorial. And if I write a tutorial, none, no one's going to read it anyway, so this is much easier to uh, learn from. Um, before I show you how the tool works, I'll give you a general overview of the of how Warframe stores files on your computer. So inside the Warframe install folder, uh, this there'll be a subfolder called cache.windows. And this contains all the files that are used in game. Um, and this is all the extractor deals with. So you'll see there's a lot of files here. Don't worry, you need to, don't need to know all these. Um, you can with these files you can ignore the extension and you can ignore the prefix as well. In total, the there are only 12 named packages. So some of them like are named here: anim retarget, misc, um, texture light map, all these, there's only about 12 of these. Um, and what these are, they all contain pretty much the same stuff. Inside these files is a folder structure exactly like what exists on your hard drive. There's a folder, inside that are folders and files, inside those folders are more folders and files, and etc. Um, the only reason they're split among different packages is because each one of these packages contains different types of files. So some of them are pretty self-explanatory, like inside the texture folder, inside the texture package are the textures. Um, inside the light map uh, package are baked light maps. Um, and then just you just have to know that in the MISC package are the 3D models and the material files. So with this extractor, since you can only get 3D models, materials, and textures, you'll pretty much only be dealing with MISC and texture. All right, so that's a general overview. Just make note of these uh, package names, texture and MISC, and you can see everything else here. OK, now back over to the tool. Uh, to use the tool uh, in any empty space in the folder, uh, shift, hold Shift and right click, and you'll get this option here to open PowerShell. Click that, and to run the executable, you'll do a dot backslash warframe. You don't have to type the whole executable name. Don't worry. You can press tab, and the terminal will autocomplete the name. And let's get the help menu by adding the help flag to the end. All right, so here are all the commands we can use with this. Most importantly, make note, these are the main commands you can use. So you can either extract data, or you can list contents of a package, uh, the internal folder file structure. So to start off, we'll do some LSing, and then we'll extract data once we found the folder that we want. So let's just jump right into it. Warframe extractor, ls. Now we need to point it to a cache dir, and that's just the cache.windows folder that I just showed you. There we go, there's the folder. Um, and we'll give it a, just look in the misc package. Apparently I don't know my own extractor. Ah, I missed this flag. Cache dir, okay. Now, here are the internals of the MISC package. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Uh, pretty much everything is going to be located in the Lotus folder. That's true across all packages, really. So, to see what's inside the Lotus folder, there is a flag called the internal path. So, let's add that. Oh, and I missed the flag again. Alright, and this is what's inside that folder. Uh, let's see what's inside characters. All of the characters in Warframe and the Warframes are located in Tenno. So for the sake of this extractor, let's get uh, where, I don't know where Excalibur is, but I know he's in here somewhere. There we go. So here's all of Excalibur's files. Since we're in the MISC package, we're only seeing the 3D models. If we change the package to texture, they share the same internal folder file structure, so I know this will work. 
here are all of Excalibur's textures. So to extract them, let's keep all of this except we will change the ls command to since we're in the we're using the texture package let's start off extracting the textures so you can also give it somewhere in here you can also tell it to output the assets to a specific path but for the sake of this i'm just going to output it let it do the default, and it's going to spit it out in the same folder as the executable. So if I press enter, it's going to start extracting the textures. And we'll let it do its thing. And if we go into the extracted folder, we'll see uh, the extracted assets will be in here, and it'll also output a log file. This is, um, if it fails to extract any files, it will tell you what files it uh, skipped over in here, but it successfully extracted everything, so that's empty. And here you can see all of Excalibur's textures successfully extracted. So uh, let's get his 3D models as well. Let's just get everything. So since his 3D models are located in the MISC package, we'll need to change this. And we'll need to change the command to extract models. Then it's going to go through and now put everything here. And there they are. And for completion its sake, let's get the material files as well. And there we go. Everything outputted here. So um, another feature of this is if the um, if it notices that the um, the file already exists and it has not been modified by the game then it will skip over it so let's go back to models for a second and it should not output anything because it sees everything is already here and if you're thinking well what if the file already exists but Warframe modified it um, I'll show you in a second so on the internals of the package the package files in Warframe there exists a file modification time and that is written to the file. So obviously, even though I just wrote it, it's July 30th, 2022. Some of these files have a 2021 modification time, and that is taken from inside. So when it extracts files, it'll see if it's been modified, and if it has, it'll write it out. Saves you some hard drive space, saves you some pain. So very easy to uh, get new files. Um, so that's pretty much everything. Um, there shouldn't be any issues with it, um, but if you, if you find anything, just let me know.